guys, how you doing? And welcome back to Forza Horizon 4 for a brand new episode of Haggis and Horsepower. And this one has been a very long time in the coming because I have been waiting for this particular car to come into Forza for quite some time. Now, we've had the Mark II GT40 in Forza for absolutely ages, but never the Mark I. But finally, with Horizon 4, we have got it. So I'm going to be doing an in-depth review of it today. If you're brand new to this series, then first of all, welcome. But what we're doing it is break a car down into series of tests. First of all, starting with the manufacturer colors. And finally, after a few episodes of having cars with only one, we have got a car with a number of manufacturer colors. So the red does look pretty damn nice. We've got the yellow and the black. We've got more of a light brown slash kind of very dark peachy colour, that's what I would call it. And then we've got the blue that I've went with, a slightly lighter edition. Then we've got a very, 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 very light blue. Then we've got the black. Then we've got the white with the black stripes and the white by itself. So this is where things get a little bit interesting because at the time of recording this video, I have not seen this in the auto show. Now, a few people have said this is a barn find, but I have not had any notification or anything yet to tell me about it. So, yeah, it is very weird how some people have got it in the game already. But I got mine pretty much dirt cheap. 991,000 from a winning bid. And this part is what is leading me to believe this is going to be a barn find because it is 9 million credits in the game, so I do presume that this will be one. I just don't know when, and it's, I'm kinda curious how they got onto the auction house already, but I got a hell of a deal. So moving on to the Forza Vista Tour, and I have to say, along with cars like the Eagle Speedster and other classic racers, this has to be one of the most beautiful cars in the world. I mean, it's a very simple shape, has nice flowing shape as well. You all know me, I love cars with curves, and this has got a lot of them. Now, the one thing I don't like in Forza Horizon 4 is the placement of the registration plate or license plate. I wish they could have put it down in the bottom bit, but it looks a little bit weird, so I might be taking it off uh, when I drive this car, but yeah, it's an overall stunning car. I love the design of the wheels and everything. We get a little bit of a flying buttress at the back right there, which is Quite cool, I like how the new GT kind of harks back to that. Very, very nice indeed. It's just the front end which I love the most. Absolutely glorious. So let's open the car up, see what we can actually open now. This is the cool thing right here. Just like the 2005 GT, uh, which carried on this style from this car, you can see in a little second that the door actually has a roof. <laughs> which is pretty mental, so yeah. So what you didn't see there was me trying to get into this engine bay. It's probably the most annoying thing because the option to close it is basically right in front of the option to freaking zoom into it. Wee bit annoying, maybe try and put that in a different place playground, that's all I'm saying because it was quite irritating. But this is the reward for doing so. Look at this, it's a big 4.7 litre V8. That is glorious. So open on round to the driver's side. Let's jump in right now and have a look around. Look at that. The gear, the, oh my god, the gear shifter's on that side. It's normally sitting right there. That's a nice little touch. Proper, proper stripped out race car. Love the look of this thing. We've got the, the holes in the seats. Proper, proper old school, which I also do believe the 051 actually carried on. I believe that's a fire extinguisher right there. Looks like one. You know, all the little toggles and stuff. Absolutely glorious looking thing. I mean, this is definitely a car that is timeless. Absolutely timeless. So anyway, let's hear how this big V8 sounds. Is pretty damn good, I'm not gonna lie. Cannot wait to hear what it actually sounds like when we get out of the car though. And the last little detail that I forgot all about is the lights. Look at that. Very, very nice. So anyway, let's close it on up right now and head out to Edinburgh 
with a top speed run. Right then, so here we are just on the outskirts of Edinburgh, but I want to hear how this thing sounds on the outside. So it spits flames, that is confirmed, and look at that rear end, man. That is absolutely glorious. So let's get going. And is that rain I see? It is rain. Why is it every single video I make it bloody rains, man? Honestly, I'm as bad as Mr. JWW. Honestly, it's so bad. And can't how many times I said honestly there. That was probably three. But anyway, let's see what we can get in terms of top speed for this thing. I'm not too sure if we're going to be able to make it all the way to the top speed. It's just, I'm just annoyed that I can't really get up to the top speed in this game with many cars, but we're getting close. We are getting quite close, I must admit. Come on, at least give us one... Oh, we're going to hit 175. Ah, man. This is really, really annoying me now, man. I can't find a straight enough bit of road to get up to top speed on most cars. I've tried the beach. I've tried Edinburgh. I've tried nearly everywhere, so if you guys have any suggestions, then please do let me know in the comments below. But the actual top speed you can go is 190 miles an hour in this game. So you can maybe try it on the motorway, see if you can get it on there, which I might do in the next episode. So we'll see how that goes. So anyway, let's move on to the handling slash drifting test. Alrighty then, so here we are heading on down to Ambleside right now with the hairpins. Really, really love this area of the map. We're gonna keep it set and gear for this corner. The turning, man. The turning is so nice on this. And the noise. She's such a brutal car. That's why I like it. You need some old school muscle. You definitely do it in your life sometimes. Break, break, break. Around this one here. God, I love it, man. Very, very cool car in terms of like weight distribution and like the balance and everything. It's got that sort of Ferrari esque sort of balance, if you know what I mean. I know that's kind of a. kind of a. <laughs> what do you call it? Kind of a bad comparison right now because this is like one of the most historic cars to go up against Ferrari, but it does feel like that sort of layout. It's very reminiscent, dare I say it, to the 458. Just a lot more heavier feeling and a bit more numb in terms of the steering. Very playful car. That is what I'm trying to say. Take out the sign nearly. Oh, 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 oh my god. But we're pulling on to one of my favourite roads right there. I'm mucking up that gear change right there. That's the only complaint that I've got about this car. I mean, my finger was fully off the trigger right there. I'm in manual and clutch. And it still crunches the gear, which is kind of annoying. I know it's probably got like a race clutch, so that's maybe why. But yeah, I need to take my time on the gearing with this thing. Look at this. Absolutely gorgeous in the autumn weather that we're in right now. I don't know when this video is going to go up, so it might be transitioning to over to winter for you guys, but I think autumn is slowly becoming my favourite season in this game. Oh, it's a bit, bit freaking wiggly right there, man. Love the sound of this thing, man. So brutal. Speed camera, make sure you get a good photo of this car, because the rear end is very nice. Very nice indeed. God, I, wish there was, I wish there was some more people driving with us right now, guys, because if you ever do see us online, then don't be afraid to actually jump in. You can do that now because of Horizon Live. So I know a lot of people ask me for like open lobby and stuff, but when I'm on, on my days off and everything like that, I will be on Horizon Live. So just feel free to jump in when you see us. And now onto my favourite camera. This is the one that just makes me focus so much more. So let's get on to the specs right now. As we know, it's a big 4.7 litre V8. Pumping out 390 horsepower and 315 foot pounds of torque. 0 to 60 in 4.3 seconds, and in the game, it has a top speed of 190 miles an hour. Now, one of the most impressive things is the weight. It is 2,222 pounds, or converted to kilograms, that is 1,007. Yeah, very, very light car for having this big of an engine in it. I'm taking it a little bit easier now, as you can see, just so I can take it in right now. Up in Scotland. Ooh, go. I don't know what this is going to behave like through this little Ford right here. Not too bad, not too bad. You do get cars that are quite skittish when you go through the water and that. Obviously, you need to be going a lot faster than I am right now. 
I just noticed how clear the roads are right now, man. Why can't it be like this in all my reviews? <laughs> Instead of like little fucking AI cars that decide to pop up their own moments. God. I love the way this thing handles, man, in terms of like just stepping out, but not so much that it wants to spin. It's like, here, have a play. I know I'm from the 1960s and everything, I don't have that modern technology, but still, have a play. It's glorious, absolutely glorious handling car. So that's a question for you guys. What would you pick? What mark of 4 GT would you take? Me personally, I would take this one to the freaking ends of the earth, honestly. I like the 05 one. I do like the Mark II one, but overall, you can't beat the original. You cannot beat the original. This is just minty. Absolutely minty. Just thought that little slide right there. So I think we're going to head up into the Toge Road in a little second, because I want to see what this thing's like up there, man. It's just so freaking fun. Look at that! <laughs> it's an absolute cracker. I can't believe I got it for this cheap and everything. I know it technically might be a barn find, but... Yeah, I'll probably just sell the barn find, because I think they should. I think they should go for good money. Right, they're onto the outside view for this. Plus at that glorious V8. Spitting of flames. <laughs> oh, this is one of the best reviews I've done yet in terms of sheer nostalgic and freaking hype, if you know what I mean. So I knew this was coming into the game, but... I didn't expect it to be this good, man. I really did not expect it to be this good. I thought it was going to be a lot more, a lot more numb than it actually is. I thought it was going to be a bit more heavy feeling than it actually does, but it's actually really good. Just the front end I'm impressed with most, as I said, it just darts into it. Honestly, it's not going to feel as fast as modern day cars, but I'm, I'm really the person, what would you guys pick? Would you pick speed over handling or handling over speed? I'd definitely go for handling over speed because when you're, you're down on a road like this, you need to handle and you want to have fun. And this thing delivers it in speeds. <laughs> As you can see, even once they slide around. God damn. So then, the Mark 1 Ford GT40. Is it worth the price to pay? in the game. Now, as I said, I managed to get it dirt cheap, which is very, very good indeed. I would highly recommend you go into the auction house and buy one of these things, but for the nine million, or if it is a barn fine, it's definitely worth it. It is an absolute cracking piece of kit. And if you're into your like, old school race cars, this is about as legendary as they come alongside the old school Ferraris. But yeah, out of 10, I'd probably give this thing a very high 9 out of 10. So anyway guys, please do let me know what you make of the GT40 Mark 1 in the comments below. While you are down there, a wee like is greatly appreciated on the video. And the only other thing that I really ask for you to do guys is share the video around. It brings in more people to the channel and lets them enjoy the content as much as you do because I've seen your comments. Thank you so much. Honestly, I appreciate every single one of you unlike some other YouTubers out there. So yeah, for me and the GT40, We'll see you in the very next episode. Thank you for watching, and bye-bye.